Hi. I just wanted to show you some of the activities we use when we work with kids doing online speech and language therapy. As you can see, I have a background behind me. For those seeing me on the other side, that's a green screen behind me that we're projecting the image on. So we use some fun backgrounds to engage a child into um, the activity itself. So what I might do is I might change the background as I'm talking so that we can pick something else that a kid might be interested in. So we might change the um, activity to the, the background to uh, a Paw Patrol, um, or we might change it to a background with um, some dinosaurs. So that we can use the interests of the child as we are doing this session as well. So. Um, let's pick a background to go with for the moment and then I want to show you um, some of the activities we use. So I'm going to share the screen like I would in a therapy session and I'm going to show you our, one of our virtual therapy rooms. So this is my virtual therapy room, that's me. You'll see me waving and then I can go to various areas in the therapy room and share that um, as well. So I'll go to games, which is my fun swing, and I might go to our Daniel dress up activity because a lot of kids like Daniel Tiger at the moment. So then I can go directly to the website and we can start playing a fun game. Hi neighbor, we are playing dress up. You can help us try on all kinds of different dress up clothes. So when we do the dress up, we might work on vocabulary or we might do this task as a, as a reward game. We can pick lots of what different- What do you like to pretend to be? We can do lots of different helmets. We can choose another outfit. Maybe Daniel wants to wear a dress or maybe we want to give him a beard. Um, and we can practice some of our fluency strategies. We can work on vocabulary or we can use this as a little reward task. And then I can go back to uh, my therapy room and we can go maybe and watch a video or we can watch a song. So I might be able to go to um, some of the super simple songs on YouTube and we can do that song. Open. So as we're doing the song, I might pause and we might sign or we might sing along or we might talk about what we were doing. So there are lots of different uh, fun ways to engage kids as we do this. Another way we can do this in, this in a fun way is we can maybe share our iPad and we can play a little peekaboo game. So then I can activate So we can talk about opening the door or who is in there and we can open the door and have a look. Hi cow! Cow. And then we can close the door and we can see who's next. So there are lots of fun ways to use the iPad as well within sessions to make it really interesting. Um, another way we can do an activity is by uh, using our green screen. So when I uh, maybe want to work on some of our sounds, for example, I will change my background to switch on something that I can use objects with and actually interact with the screen behind me. What's great about this as well is that the kids can see me better because I don't have to compete with another screen. And now I can take our surprise bag, we can have a look inside our bag and see whether we have like a throat sound, like a cut gut sound. So we're going to, when we get a throat sound, we're going to, to take our uh, little crocodile here and we're going to feed him. So we've got Eddie, our tongue tip sound dinosaur over here. And then we've got uh, Greg over here, who Greg the crocodile, who we're going to feed here. So we're going to see what's in our bag. And we can say, oh, wow, we've got a teddy. Teddy has a t-t-t-t. 
tongue tip sound. So now that means he has to go into Eddie's mouth. So in we go and we put a oh, and Eddie ate the teddy. Oh my goodness, who would have ever thought that? And then we dig into our bag again. Oh, we've got glasses. So glasses have a throat sound. So now we can put it. Oh, Greg is going, a crocodile is going to eat the sunglasses. Here he goes. Oh, and he ate it all up and went into the back of his throat. And that is how we talk about our tongue tip throat sounds using a green screen activity and using our objects. There are lots of different ways we can use green screen for those activities but it's great to be able to to take this and it looks like magic because the kids don't see all the tricks behind me that they don't know about all they know is that eddie and, and greg have had a nice little meal of whatever toys we have in our bag so when we do all these activities and we use all the technology to our advantage. The main idea is to make online therapy really fun, really engaging for children. And to be honest, it's a way to actually use more things than we would be able to use in face-to-face. -face. So in some ways, it's even better. Online therapy is really great because it's convenient, it is safe, you save on travel and most importantly it is lots of fun.